the Northwest Arkansas community. This is KNWA News at 6. A bill moving through the Arkansas legislature would ban Delta 8 and Delta 9 products from being manufactured, sold, and possessed here in Arkansas. Good evening, everyone. I'm Chelsea Helms. And I'm Chad Mira. Thanks for joining us tonight at 6. Candy Bay's Macy Davis joins us live in studio tonight with a look at what Senate Bill 358 would do. Macy. Well, Chad and Chelsea, I spoke with the co-sponsor of the bill, State Senator Justin Boyd. He said as it's drafted, the products would no longer be allowed to be sold in stores. According to Boyd, the purpose of the bill is to reduce minors being able to access the product. He attributes a rise in the number of THC products causing poisonings among kids in Arkansas. We reached out to the Arkansas Poison Control Center today and found that there were 43 calls regarding minors taking cannabis edibles last year and 20 already ready so far this year. The center is still conducting studies on Delta 8 calls, but Boyd says he wants to be proactive. I think that banning it is going to be the best way. I think that's going to get it off of convenience store shelves and out of the hands uh, where, where kids can walk in and so easily access it. Arkansas Attorney General Tim Griffin released a consumer alert today saying that Delta 8 products are widely available and unregulated with no age requirement to purchase the products. He said he supports this bill. Now, the American Shaman Kava Bar offers Delta 8, 9, and 10 products to those 21 and older. The owner explains why this bill would be devastating to small businesses like his tonight at 10. Live in studio, Macy Davis, KNWA, Northwest Arkansas News.